Hey there YouTube, today we're going to do a care guide on the leaf fish and the cockatoo wasp fish about their size, feeding, and tank mates. Uh, big shout out to tanks and updates for the idea of this video being posted in the comments of my last video. So just figured because I have the two fish with me, why not give it a shot? I've got the inch and a half long Hawaiian leaf fish right here who is supposed to be yellow but he's more of a brown and as you can definitely tell compared to the baby Volodin and baby Miles, He's pretty dwarfed. Now, these fish do get about five to six inches at the very most. You'll see them come in yellow, black, brown, and hot pink. Uh, I am feeding him currently ghost shrimp. Not that I haven't tried frozen, which you'll see later in the clip. I do try bloodworms and brine shrimp. I highly recommend trying myces as well as brine shrimp with these guys if you are going to frozen, but at his small size, if he's not eating right away uh, frozen foods, I can't really risk waiting two weeks for him to swap over to ghost shrimp. So I make sure I have a supply for him, but you can definitely tell that shrimp is a little bit too big for him, which I was not anticipating. And as you can see, this Volanin really thinks he can take it down and uh, finish the job for him. So very cool fish. They do have venomous spines in the front of their dorsal, just two little tips there, uh, which normally the sting is going to be comparable to that of a bee sting. If you're allergic to bee stings, that's where the caution comes from. Who really knows? Um, but otherwise, if you don't mess with them, they won't mess with you. A very thin leaf looking fish. So you can still see in this clip, they are still an ambush predator using that suction to be able to suck in their prey. And when they get it tail to head end, they really just get it straight down the gullet. So they can go front to back or back to front, but normally going after the shrimp from the side, it's gonna take them some time to take that prey down. So obviously a fish that I would not expect to just add to an aquarium and just say, I'll throw pellets and flakes at it, it'll eat fine. Make sure you're paying extra attention to the fact that this fish is gonna need a little bit more help with feeding. Now tank mates go, as long as the fish isn't big enough to fit him down its throat, you should be fine. But other fish that are more cannibalistic or more aggressive will not care to suck that fish down with those two venomous spines. Now, you can see this cockatoo wasp fish really has a small mouth on him. This guy also has the two venomous spines on the front. He's about twice the size of the leaf fish, and he eats frozen since day one. Brine shrimp, bloodworms, myces, he does not care, but these guys do require extra small foods. Normally, if you're not going to have them go after frozen, I highly recommend live brine, but definitely not a fish that's just going to be able to suck down a ghost shrimp as big as the leaf fish ended up doing. So uh, both of them are going to eat about four to five inches, both of them with a similar sting, both of them with similar eating habits, you do have to take extra caution to make sure these fish are being fed well enough. If you're going to put them in a tank with a bunch of damsels and tangs or big lionfish, good luck. The moment that thing flickers to the side, that lion's going to suck it down if it's not big enough to stay outside of its mouth. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe, comment down below, and like this video as always. If you guys have any questions or comments about anything that went on in the video or anything you'd like to see in the future, or just plain questions in general about the saltwater hobby, send them over to me or leave a comment down below, and I'll be sure to be able to get back to you as soon as I can. And I will see you guys next time.